Hello, I know, jump scare. My hair is looking crazy right now, but I haven't showed you my curly hair favorites or routine in a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I've been liking these days because I have so many new products and hair tools that I've been using that I really, really like, so let's get into it. Starting with what I've been using to wash my hair as of recent, I'm in a new climate. I am in LA now, I'm not in human Miami, and so my hair has been on the drier side, and so it's not looking as like lustrous as it usually does. So I have this shampoo by the brand Verb. The glossy shampoo it has extra hydration. It's like color safe, even though this doesn't matter because my hair is not dyed. And it has like a glossy shine, which is like exactly what I need, as you can see right now. I have the Verb conditioner. It's the soft, define, and hydrate curl conditioner. And this is what it looks like. As far as leave-in, my current favorites right now is this one from Curl Smith. It is the fragrance-free shine cream. Obviously, I'm sure you're seeing a pattern here, lots of shine and hydration in these products because it is dry out here. I saw it for the first time in Ulta and I was like, what is this? Curl Smith. I really love this brand. As far as hair oils, I've been loving the K18 Molecular Repair Oil for my ends. And honestly, this oil, I'm pretty sure the ingredients on it are not good, but the smell is just too good. And the way it makes my hair feel so manageable. My hair is pretty spoiled, so I feel like I can have a little cheap product. One that's like really cheap has probably a bunch of bad fragrance, but everything else is pretty good ingredients wise, so there's that. I think this mousse by Curl Smith, but it isn't like the best or worst curly hair like mousse. It's kind of just like whatever. I'm still using my OG product, the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. The best for last and what has changed the game for me so much is this brush right here. I cannot wait to show you how I use this brush to define my curls. So let's get into my current curly hair routine and how I'm about to define these brushed out dry curls. Nothing has changed about the way that I part my hair. It is still half and half. It is the easiest for me and it makes me feel like I'm dealing with a lot less all at once. I've already applied a couple of drops of this K18 oil into my hair when it was still a little damp. Be very mindful of the sections that I'm taking and making sure that they're not too big because of how I'm going to use this brush. So I have my water bottle, my continuous spray water bottle, wet my hair. So I'm going to add a little bit of my cheapy, really good smelling oil from, where is this from, Organics. I literally get this water from like my fridge, like I fill it up from the filtered water because the water here in LA is so drying to my hair, it literally completely dries it out. I also have a filter in my shower. I grab my Curl Smith conditioner. Then I grab some of my curl cream from root to tip. Now for the brush. I absolutely love this brush. It has this little pointy end to like divide the hair, but I just do that with my hands. But you just go like this. And at first, the pieces look so super straight. I was so disappointed when I first tried it because I was like, this is horrible for my kind of hair. But slowly but surely, the curls start to form. You can like scrunch, but like, just, just watch. It starts to look super defined. I cannot wait to show you like my whole head. I honestly didn't think I was gonna like this brush because I don't really like like demon brushes. Like I'm used to doing my curl routine just with my hands. I kept seeing videos of people using the brush and I was like, let me go ahead and try this. Like it must be good. I try to get as close to the root as I possibly can. Look at that. It looks so awful at first and then it just turns super curly like these ones underneath. Sometimes I'm kind of like reluctant to try new curly hair products because once I find something that works for me I like to stick to it 
but I feel like venturing out of my norm has been working out in my favor as of late. I've discovered so many new good products out of that, like Curlsmith. Conditioner for me is like everything you want in a leave-in for like the summertime. Ought to trust the process. How it's coming along so far. Although currently right now I'm liking trying new products, it's gonna be a real big pain when I get to traveling in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to Europe and I'm not checking a bag because I've heard so many horror stories of people regretting bringing too much with them to Europe and like traveling all over the cobblestones with like heavy luggage and walking a lot with all this luggage to get to their stays. So annoying traveling with curly hair. Travel size curly hair products are just not enough for the amount that you need. My fiance and I, we both have curly hair. Traveling is always a nightmare because either our products are taking up so much space in our luggage or we have to bring minis, which usually just are not enough to last us like the whole entire trip. Like I can use an entire bottle of like a mini conditioner in like two days, maybe even one and a half. And between both of us, even less time. Should I try getting braids for the first time? I don't really know how I'll feel about braids. I think I get tired of things pretty easily and I'll probably want to take it out within like a week. Very limited amount of liquids I can bring, not just like with hair, but with like skincare and makeup. That's the current hair dilemma, but I'm sure I'll figure it out like I always do. Last pieces on top are like the most important for me to define because they're the ones that, you know, are on the outside and showing the most. So I always make sure to take my time with these and make sure the pieces are nice and small. So here's one side done. She is defined. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I always like to take this side out and do a side by side so you can see just how much work was done here right now. Like, look at this. And look at this. This is like one big bunched up ball of fur. And then what is like pretty defined curls is what we want. I do this side and then dry it with my blow dryer. That was the last piece. This is what we're working with. I love how defined my hair looks right now. Like, look at this. Look at the curls, look at the clumps. They're all clumped together so beautifully and they all look so super healthy. So I took the top off of this blow dryer attachment. This is from the brand Tideway. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dry my hair to like 70%. is all defined look at the curls even the ones in front of my face usually are super stringy and straight because they get it the worst when I flat iron my hair but it looks super healthy and I'm in love with this routine right now I think the brush is a huge game changer for me for like curl definition and I'm loving my new products I've been using like 90% dry. I dried it way more than I usually do, but it feels pretty dry right now. 
And yeah, there's a lot of definition from like root to the ends. The curls are just clumped differently because of the brush. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of mousse for like the frizziness I have on top. I dry my hair like if I have absolutely no patience whatsoever to wait for it to dry. So I get like a little bit of frizz when I dry it with a blow dryer. And I'm just gonna leave this mousse wet in my hair because mousse is super lightweight so it doesn't really get my hair too wet. And yeah, that is my updated curly routine. I'm glad I was able to share it with you as it's been a little bit. And that is all I have for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.